CoQ10, or coenzyme Q10, is a vitamin-like nutrient produced naturally in your body. You can also get it in your food or in supplement form. So CoQ10 is in every cell in your body and particularly concentrated in the mitochondria. It helps to support the health of your mitochondria and is a essential cofactor in making ATP, which is basically how your cells make energy. You must have ATP to walk, to run, to breathe, play golf, go shopping, laugh, post a comment on this video. You get the idea. Basically, you need it to live. And CoQ10 is also a powerful antioxidant, important for protecting your brain, heart, your organs in general, and your muscles. It's essential for the health of all the tissues and organs in your body. The highest concentrations of CoQ10 are found in your organs, like your heart, kidneys, lungs, and liver, because your organs have very high energy demands. And just like many other things, surprise, surprise, CoQ10 levels decline as we age. So what are some of the possible benefits of CoQ10? CoQ10 is often recommended for patients with symptoms of congestive heart failure, coronary heart disease, and high blood pressure. These conditions can cause oxidative damage and inflammation of the veins and arteries, which CoQ10 may help prevent. One randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study concluded by saying, long-term CoQ10 treatment of patients with chronic heart failure is safe, improves symptoms, and reduces major adverse cardiovascular events. That study and all the studies referenced in this video will be linked in the description if you want to check them out. CoQ10 may also improve insulin sensitivity and regulate blood sugar levels. And other studies show that after supplementing with CoQ10 for 12 weeks in participants with type 2 diabetes, fasting, plasma glucose, and HbA1c were significantly lower in the CoQ10 group compared to the placebo group. CoQ10 is often recommended for people who are taking statins as well, as it is believed that it may help with muscle pain. The scientific research on that one specifically is mixed. Some show some positive benefits and others don't substantiate those benefits. So most experts agree that more research is needed. If you're taking a statin and you're also taking CoQ10, or if you're just taking CoQ10 in general, I'd love to hear about it. So please leave a, a comment down below with your experience. Now, CoQ10 is thought to help with migraines and migraine prevention. So if you suffer from migraines, you might want to listen to this next one. One meta-analysis involving six studies and 371 participants concluded that CoQ10 appears to have beneficial effects in reducing the duration and frequency of migraine attack. So if you decide to supplement with CoQ10, it's important to take one in ubiquinal form because it's the most absorbable. A typical dosage is about 30 to 90 milligrams per day, but can be as high as 200 milligrams per day. For example, pure ubiquinol CoQ10 from Do Not Age is 100 milligrams per capsule, and they recommend taking two capsules per day. And if you're interested in trying CoQ10 from Do Not Age, I have an affiliate link for you down below you can save 10%. It's also important to remember that CoQ10 is fat soluble. So it's important to take it with food that contains some sort of oil or fat. 